everybody, this is Natasha. You might know me as Aruba Red and the wonderful Jack Bruce was my father. I am here at Jack Bruce headquarters and we've been working hard to bring you exciting YouTube content and wonderful posts on Facebook and Twitter. And one of the big projects that we've been working on is supporting Esoteric Records, part of Cherry Red, with the release of the brand new Jack Bruce box set, Smiles and Grins. We're really, really excited about this. So much hard work has gone into pulling this together. I want to shout out Mark Powell at Cherry Red, our a &R, who we have had a long-standing relationship with. Mark was um, also instrumental in the release of Jack's final studio album, Silver Rails, which came out in 2014, just a few months before his death. And this new box set, I haven't seen it yet. This is literally an unboxing video to share my excitement about unveiling what is inside this beautiful box. So Jack Bruce Smiles and Grins, the broadcast sessions between 1970 and 2001. This is a really, really wonderful collection of so many of my father's live performances. Not all of them, because there are, you know, some more. Sometimes it can be difficult to track things down, to license them. But this is a really, really wonderful and comprehensive collection, especially of all of the amazing content that the BBC put out. So I'm just going to read this little sticker on the front before I unwrap the actual box. Jack Bruce, Smiles and Grins, Broadcast Sessions, 1970 to 2001. A comprehensive official four CD and two Blu-ray box set featuring all surviving radio and TV sessions recorded by Jack Bruce for the BBC and Radio Bremen. Includes the complete unbroadcast session recorded by Lifetime for the German TV show Beat Club. I know that a lot of people are really excited about that. Two Old Grey Whistle Test concerts from 1975 and 1981, a 1983 appearance and a session from Later with Jules Holland. I was actually at that, at that show as a teenager from 2001, along with two performances for BBC Radio 1 in concert from 1971 and 1977, a previously unreleased Sounds of the 70s session from 1971 and two Jazz in Britain sessions from 1971 and 1978. Includes a lavishly illustrated 68 page book with a new essay by Sid Smith. So this is, this is the box. You can see you've got all the track listings on the back and I'm going to break it open for the first time. Obviously I've seen proofs on PDFs, on, online, um, but I have not seen the real thing. And now I'm going to struggle opening it. <laughs> this is what happens when you don't have long enough nails. I'm going to get in, don't worry. Let's do this. Alright, I'm going to get off the cellophane. It's just heightening the excitement. I know that so many of you have pre-ordered many months ago and we really thank you for your patience. We've also had to be patient. And now the day is here. Release day. It looks beautiful. It feels really good to hold it in my hands after all these months of putting it together. So yeah, you slide this bit out. This is really nice. Um, you can see the spine has all the information. We are working with Cherry Red for the next seven years on a whole host of really exciting reissues, maybe even some previously unheard things, um, some vinyl releases, and yeah, things are gonna be like really beautifully put together, so they're gonna be real collector's items that all the Jack Bruce fans are gonna treasure in their collection, I'm sure. So this slides out nicely. I'm just going to put this up here. And the first thing I'm going to have a look at is this beautiful book. So this is the booklet that comes with. I hope you can see it. And it's really nice to see all these pictures of my dad because some of these I hadn't seen before. 
and it's always really fascinating to see just all of the incredible things that he was involved in um, before I was even born and I'm literally learning new things about him every every week, finding new footage, new things surfacing that I haven't seen before, I didn't know, what, you know, was in existence. So I'm going to open it up and some beautiful pictures of some of his bass guitars, his true loves. And here's a really gorgeous photo, which I have seen this one before, I love this image. I'm not going to show you everything because we don't have time, but I'm just going to flick through and pick out a few things. So we've got really beautiful images here. We decided to um, design this in the inspiration of the old Blue Note releases. And I think that Cherry Red have done a really great job with that. It's, be it's beautiful. And you can just see everybody who's performing on all the different sessions. There's just so much to delve into in these six discs. So much, you know, visuals, so many visuals, so many songs. Um, I'm just going to highlight this page because you might be able to see this Beat Club logo here. Um, I'm going to get closer. This is the session that had the whole internet, like the Jack Bruce and Tony Williams community in a frenzy a few months ago because this show from Beat Club of Lifetime, which people knew had been filmed but they didn't really know if the actual footage was still in existence, Beat Club released some of it on YouTube and yeah, it was described as the Holy Grail by one fan. And when I saw that Beat Club had released that on YouTube, I immediately contacted, contacted Mark at Cherry Red. And I said, Mark, like, we need to try and get hold of this, of this session. And Mark managed to do it. He managed to license the whole thing. So if you purchase this box set, you will be able to actually see this long awaited session from Tony Williams Lifetime, which is so exciting for, you know, the real, the real fans of that genre. Um, it's just, yeah, it's got beautiful songs in there. It's got Smiles and Grins, John McLaughlin's Devotion, um, a reprise of Smiles and Grins, and then also Dance of Maya and Two, Wor Two Worlds. So, you know, to have John McLaughlin and Larry Young and Jack Bruce and Tony Williams performing this and to have it captured just feels really, really special. Um, I'm going to keep going. Some nice images there. And then there's just this beautiful essay that Sid Smith, the music journalist, has written. And um, again, I'm not going to read it to you now. You will need to get hold of the box set to read it, but it's really beautiful. And there's just all of these gorgeous photos. I love this one. It's got the, um, this, uh, Pentacle star necklace that Graham Bond gifted my father. Um, there's a lot of stories behind that, which some of you may be aware of. Here's a really beautiful picture of Tony and John and my dad. That was one of my dad's favorite, favorite bands to play with. Um, Lifetime. Yeah, there's really beautiful pictures here of Lifetime with some of their signatures as well. And some concert photos. And here's an image of my dad with Jeannie the Taylor, who some of you may know. She was a very talented seamstress and um, fashion designer. And she created really beautiful clothes in the 60s for bands like Cream. And Jack named his solo album songs for a tailor after Jeannie so you can see my dad and Jeannie there together so yeah Sid has really gone into just great depth about my dad's career here's another great picture and of the great lyricist Pete Brown rest in peace who passed away recently and contributed so many magical lyrics to my dad's long career um, it's just yeah it's such a it's just really wonderful to see this Here's a really, really 
old picture where they're all very young, Ginger and Jack, and um, obviously the incredible Graham Bond and Dick, Hex Dick Hexel Smith from the Graham Bond organisation. And yeah, there's West Bruce and Lang. There's just so much to delve into. Um, the beautiful Carla Blay, rest in peace. I'm really, really happy to see this and to have this in my hands. And I hope that if you've received your copy today, you're gonna to enjoy it. And I hope that if you are able to, you can get hold of this beautiful collection and celebrate my father's legacy. I'm feeling quite emotional holding it. Yeah, so then we have the actual discs. So six discs, all in beautiful packaging with different images to delve into Blu-ray, DVD and CD. What a wonderful collection of work. I wanna say a big thank you to Mark at Esoteric and Cherry Red Records and everybody that's helped pull this together. It really has been a labour of love and it's really setting the tone for what we have to come because we have so many exciting releases coming over the next few months and the next few years. So I hope you'll stay tuned. I hope you've enjoyed this unboxing video with me. Um, I'm just gonna reel off before I end some of the musicians that are involved in this project. Um, it's really the highest caliber of talent. We've got obviously Jack Bruce, Tony Williams, Larry Young, Bernie Worrell, Vernon Reed, John McLaughlin, Graham Bond, Chris Spedding, John Marshall, Art Tiemann, Carla Blay, Mick Taylor, Ronnie Leahy, Bruce Gary, John Heisman, John Sermon, and Clem Clemson. I hope I haven't forgotten anyone. Um, I'm just really, really happy. I'm feeling emotional and excited to watch and listen, and I hope you are too. I'm wishing you a wonderful day, and thank you so much for keeping Jack Bruce's amazing legacy alive by listening to his music and sharing it, and joining us in our YouTube premieres every Friday, and all of your wonderful comments on Facebook and Twitter. We've built this incredible community and I'm really, really excited to be here with you. Loads of love from me and have an amazing day. Yeah.